these are pretty special trips for us and for the people that drive from far away to come and explore West Virginia and Virginia with us. So um, we have these very special burgers made by a restaurant that Gabby actually owns in Roanoke, Virginia. And uh, this is his mom's recipe. And I'm not gonna tell you what's inside it because you're just gonna have to come on one of these trips to find out. We only had like a two and a half hour drive coming yeah. up here. Yeah, Wasn't bad at all. Bad. Yeah, we're excited though. Yeah. Cool. I'm looking forward to off-roading. We've all, uh, well, I've only done a little bit with you, so I'm excited. Yeah. This is kind of a favorite site of mine and my family's. So I'm not gonna tell you where it is, I'm just gonna tell you it's in a very special place that not too many people know about. Uh, everybody brought food tonight, having a great dinner, and uh, just enjoying, it's peaceful. You know what I'm looking forward to most is uh, traveling around with some people that I haven't met before, and uh, seeing some places I've never seen before, and uh, just overall just having a good time, man. We had a potluck, the potluck is very successful, and uh, people brought stuff and some really good flavors. And I'm getting thirsty, it's time for a beer, and we've got a serious adventure ahead of us. What's your name? Uh, Steve Chunder Blunder. Oh, what are, you, what are you looking forward to today? Uh, I'm looking forward to taking some pictures and, and CT not putting a camera three inches from my face, and mushrooms! Mostly only beach driving up till now, so it'll be interesting. They don't call me the king, at least you know I tried. I walk alone, but not tonight. I found a million dollar girl, I put the moves on right Oh, you see, I found a girl with American eyes With the sunkiest skin and money came by She can tell me no While she takes me home Mom, take me home go out as a family we've gone on a couple camping trips usually in the fall it's just hard it's hard to get everybody's schedules lined up but I'd say a year we probably get out I don't know four or five times is probably being realistic my family my father had a van and it was like the road trip vehicle and I, my seat was, we'd have the cooler between the two front seats and I'd sit on the cooler. And then it was always loaded with family, you know? Um, and just a love for camping. So when it started, when it started looking for a vehicle to do it, I was thinking van. So, and then I found sports mobiles online and I fell in love with them. And it was just a matter of finding one, affordable, <laughs> and building it out. You know, finishing the build because trying to get one fully built is impossible, money-wise. So here we are, in a big van. <laughs> we are in Sweet Springs, West Virginia. This is Sweet Springs Hotel. It's been, I believe, a psych ward. It's been a resort. It's been a hospital. But it was built by Thomas Jefferson, as you can kind of tell here. A lot of the same architecture by Thomas Jefferson. Just a really cool place. It is kind of sad because it's fallen apart and somebody needs to put some energy into restoring it. Anyway, we are like 15 miles away from camp and we're on track for five o'clock, which is a world record for Mountain State Overland. <laughs> it's always more fun when you're not by yourself. So you drive it tomorrow? <laughs> like you're gonna let me drive the taco. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait a minute, I'm back on. <laughs> But we're like almost there, so you wanna sign off? And it's 4.30, this would be the rip five. So we're like right ahead of schedule. schedule. Yeah, crushing it. Crushing it. We're at Merry-Go-Round Farm, 
in Potts Creek, Virginia. The owner, Jacob Wright, is a high school friend of mine. And we actually came here for the first MSX discovery route that we ever did and we're back. If you could stay along the creek, uh, there's a little path and you guys, I mean, anywhere you want to Park pitch it. a tent, whatever, yeah. it's fine. Keep going all the way around. My dad bought it when Jason and I were seniors in high school. So when I went off to college, he was like, I'm gonna sell that power wagon. I was like, don't sell it, you know, that's the coolest truck. And when I graduated from college, he, uh, he handed me this little box and it had a key in it. And I was like, what is this? And opened it up and it said power, you know, power wagon. He was like, now you can sell it. He passed away like five years later. I was like, no, I'll never sell it. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a built-in bottle opener. Basically, we just finished up cutting up some peppers and onions. Um, we're making some scottle pizza for everybody at camp tonight. This is, uh, this is new to me, and it smells amazing. <laughs> and I'm sure it's going to taste amazing to you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So what we do is we kind of pre-cook the meat first and get the meat nice and kind of warm and everybody, the guests kind of prepare their pizzas and then we move them over here and tin them with a cover and try to cook them pretty evenly. And thin crust actually works much better because it cooks, it starts to melt. You see the cheese is already starting to melt down a little bit. Um, but what we really need to do is we need to capture how good this is after it's done. So <laughs> yeah. we always talk about actually making the pizza, but we want to know what it tastes like when it's done. Like it did back in 1957. <laughs> it's not burned, it's properly crisped. That's how it is, alright? Everybody needs some carbon in their diet. Mm. That's good, Scotto Pizza. It's Ella's birthday, and we bought her ice cream, and the battery died in Gabby's truck. So we're gonna actually hop in the sausage wagon and drive to the snack shack and hopefully score some Hershey's ice cream and get back here and get it to her before she goes to bed. Look at that full moon over Pond's Creek. There you go. Aww. It's perfectly timed. <laughs> <laughs> Moose tracks. I bet she wants moose tracks. So when I do that. <laughs> Alright, you'll take care. So what's up? So we have moose tracks ice cream and we're gonna wish a happy birthday to Ella. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to <laughs> you. out right on the creek uh, celebrated my daughter's seventh birthday and um, just doesn't get much better Saturday morning it is pretty decent bacon I must say homegrown right here on Jacobs farm got my coffee a little breakfast I'm about to hit the road I'm trying to eat it before everybody else gets over here and gets on it We saw it from the other side. I got my yeah. saw. Okay, good. So, yeah, I got mine too. We're gonna be cutting and doing, and okay. you know, when we get to something, we'll just go to lopping. We got Austin here, man. Austin and Caleb, they got this. 
You're a, you're a helicopter logger. Just call call somebody in. Yeah, we came at this the other day from the other side. Um, even though it is a county road, they don't maintain it at, from this point anymore. And uh, it's just a good, fun little road that you can um, take your truck on. And um, from the looks of thing, nobody's been up, been on it for a while. So it'll be interesting to see what we run into up here. <laughs> now we go to work. <laughs> Tension on the winch, right? Yeah, you can actually walk yourself back down the line. We got gotcha. you. We've got it bucked, we've got it dropped. The winch released it a little bit from up top. And we're gonna cut off some pieces here and hopefully just drop down enough that we can actually get the trucks through here. So let's do it. <laughs> I think we're going to get through it. <laughs> Five trees in two miles, maybe two miles. We're right on the border of Virginia and West Virginia, and now we're headed to Kairos Resort. Originally, years ago, it was an equestrian resort, and so they cut all these trails, probably 50-some miles, and so they'd all grown up when we got it, so we had to go find all the trails and then hand cut them. And we're still in the process of that, but we have about 40 miles. Yeah, we came in with the gentleman that owned this before, and was um, he wanted to put conservation easement on the property. So he brought us in as kind of recreational experts to see how they could appraise it um, for recreational use. So I came in and spent two days riding all these trails and was dreaming of all the cool things they could do. And then, you know, three years ago, he approached us saying, hey, I want you to do all that stuff and we'll sell you the property at a killer price. And, and he just wanted something really neat to be done with the property. And, uh, and so we got a group together and did it. I, never did I think you could ever bring a vehicle down in here. It was, it was insane. And the more it gets written on, the better it gets. Cooking up the chicken, a little Jamaican jerk sauce on here on the Scottles. Um, we have some tortilla shells. We got a mixture of red bell pepper, red onion, um, 
cilantro, mango, pineapple, garlic, salt, and uh, a little cheddar cheese, a little sour cream if they want it. So they're basically what they're doing is just making their own taco, and then they're coming right over here to the Scottles and throwing some chicken on there and bon appetit. Thank you. Good? You want more? I'll do a little more. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Yep, you bet. This is a steel reserve. <laughs> and this is a tea candle, and it's Scott's birthday. So we've had two birthdays on one MSX trip, and he's going to celebrate tonight. Happy birthday to you! Blow it out! Oh, man, we thought that would be funny, though. Yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday. It's a horrible beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Uh, we slept above the clouds last night because um, all the fog and the clouds had settled in the valley. Pretty awesome. We've had three really unique campsites. But we're heading down. We're going to go down to base camp and then we're going to spend another couple hours here on this Sunday um, exploring a couple roads that we've never traveled before uh, in preparations for the next MSX Discovery route. like bombing around fire roads it's been first gear like low and then just crawling along it's been really cool yeah not something that we normally get to do yeah me definitely not so this has been fun this is a great great experience virginia west virginia it's uh it's beautiful despite a little bit of rain today you know what uh it just means it's a little sad to go home but uh back to family i can't wait to to get back to do something like this again and, and hopefully with, with jason and the crew it'll be great thank you